Hey everybody, how's it going? Josh here, and today we're going to talk about if Ghidorah was actually sent to Earth all those years ago in the MonsterVerse by aliens. Now, in Godzilla King of the Monsters, Ghidorah is obviously by and large the main antagonist out of Rodan and any other monster that might appear. And it's been confirmed that Ghidorah is from outer space, he's not of Earth, which makes him more unique amongst the other Titans for sure. Now, reasons Ghidorah may have come to Earth are kind of unknown at the moment, but it's not assumed for kind reasons, at least based on how Ghidorah acts once he is here. And director Michael Dowdery revealed that he thought it would be cool to use Gigan as potentially a monster if he were to do a Godzilla 3. Now, using Gigan would be really interesting because he'd be utilizing another monster with outer space origins. And Gigan in particular was actually used with Ghidorah by the M Space Hunter Nebula Aliens or the Nebulans way back when in Godzilla vs. Gigan. Now if Gigan were to be used, it could actually potentially introduce a plot line of Gigan being sent to finish off Ghidorah's work in the circumstance Ghidorah is killed at the end of Godzilla King of the Monsters, kind of basically doing it as Gigan finishing what Ghidorah started, at least for conquering Earth. Now assuming Godzilla does obviously destroy the Ghidorah, it'd be cool to see I guess Godzilla fight Gigan and maybe defeat Gigan. Even though at that point, I don't really know what other space monster we'd get, that would be really interesting. Considering Gigan's already kind of introducing not only alien stuff, but maybe cybernetic stuff. So it's very possible that if Gigan were to be introduced and then defeated, we might get a Mecha Ghidorah or something like that instead, using both the cybernetic stuff established with Gigan and the alien stuff established with both Gigan and Ghidorah. But focusing more so back to the topic at hand, the aliens' goal when sending these monsters to Earth was to destroy civilization on Earth so the Nebulans can occupy the world as their new home, so to speak. And this was accomplished by using a controlling device on both Ghidorah and Gigan, which isn't too dissimilar to the rumored device being used in Godzilla King of the Monsters, which will awaken and seemingly persuade monsters to do certain things. So I'm not saying any of the human characters, any of the I guess human villains in this movie, I'm not saying there may be aliens that are related to the Nebulans who are known to impersonate humans, I'm just saying there are some similarities here which would be really interesting to see implemented in a potential MonsterVerse sequel. Now this could also explain if it were to be introduced in universe abilities Ghidorah has that are extraordinarily devastating, not necessarily like a laser beam kind of devastating, but he seemingly can just destroy the atmosphere, tear up weather all around him. I mean, it's a little above and beyond what you would expect from any titan or any monster, even in the monsterverse for the most part, considering how down to earth even Godzilla's abilities are to a certain extent. But being able to be so devastating to the environment would definitely fit with this kind of motive of quote unquote cleaning the world, so to speak, for your future, I guess, new residents. Now, Gigan being introduced would potentially also expand the mythos of the titans, and if Ghidorah was created, by these, I guess, masters, if you will, similar to Pacific Rim, but created by the Nebulans, it'd be really interesting and a cool way to explain why he seemingly, according to rumors, has no gender, which is kind of unusual, obviously, for a naturally kind of just roaming around creature, I guess, such as Ghidorah, considering Mothra's a female, Rodan and Godzilla are considered males, Kong's a male, so it does seem odd that out of all of them, Ghidorah doesn't have a gender, but it does work for him considering his mysterious origins, especially being from outer space. Maybe his species is just different in that way. But comment below your guys' thoughts. What do you guys think about this kind of theory? And we'll see you guys later.